What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. 6v6 Crucible is back and it's here to stay. This is something I've been a long time advocate for and I'm happy that they finally brought it back as a permanent part of the playlist. For that reason, I did want to make a video and look back at Destiny 1 and make my top 5 maps from Destiny 1 that I would love to see them bring forward into Destiny 2. Now I'm all for new maps being made, but for these maps here I think they were so good that it wouldn't make sense to not bring them back. And we've already seen it with Bannerfall coming back. So these are my top 5 maps from Destiny 1 that I want to see brought into Destiny 2. Let's get this thing started. Coming in at number 5 is the Dungeons map. Now this map came out during the Taken King expansion and it takes place right on the Dreadnought. So number one, I think it's cool to pay homage to what is in many ways the glory days for Destiny 1, that being the Taken King expansion. Control. Another reason why I think this map would be really, really good to bring into Destiny 2 is the proximity and the overall size of this map. So what's interesting about the Dungeons map is in many ways point A is a pretty much a mirror image of point C over there. And they're also both very, very close or equidistant to point B. So let me run down the point B. Just like in many Crucible maps, point B is where the, the action is most hot and heavy. And it's no different here on the Dungeons map. As you can see right now, I'm about 50 or 60 meters away from both point A and C. So that made this area very, very chaotic and hectic in this map pretty much all the time, no matter what game mode you were playing. The other thing that was interesting here too is this is where the heavy ammo would spawn. So naturally with Destiny 2 you had the changes to heavy ammo, you'd have to make some determinations on where to, to put that. I think in this case here is, is best to keep it as it is and keep a heavy ammo spawning right here. You could also maybe if you want to liven things up a little bit is put a heavy ammo over at point A and point C. That would help liven things up and, and allow you know the teams that are controlling those areas to have access to heavy ammo without having to risk life and limb here coming down to, to point B. But this is a map here where I think you could just bring this in right away. We know it works obviously really, really well for 6v6, but because this is a, a smaller map by Destiny 1 standards, I think it, it could plug right into the 4 versus 4 game modes right off the jump. So not much tweaking that has to be done here to have this map be really useful right away so I would be thrilled if they brought this map back coming in at number four is first light this map takes place on the moon and OG destiny one players will remember this as being one of the two maps that was available during the destiny alpha so really going back in time to the earliest of routes for destiny one and this map is interesting for a number of reasons Number one, I think, aesthetically, this is one of the best-looking maps that I've ever seen in Destiny at all. It just looks amazing. The The location, the scenery, it's, it's, it's top-notch, I think, all the way around from a looks perspective. I mentioned the size of this map. This is one of the biggest maps in Destiny 1, if not the biggest map in Destiny 1. And the fact that you can get your Sparrow out suggests that, right? So it's a very, very far cry from what we're used to in Destiny 2 right now where it's smaller maps it's strictly gun battles it's in many ways it's littered with team shooting this is a pretty much a complete opposite of what we're used to in Destiny 2 now if this map were to come back it would strictly be a 6 versus 6 map in many ways this too was even too big for 6v6 they had to lower the time limit on this map to accommodate for that but it's just a very interesting map all around you have places where turrets are obviously you have the, the ability to bring your sparrow in there's vehicles that spawn in so the gameplay overall is just much much different for this map with all those different add-ons you also have too with this map a lot of sniper battles going on so if you can recall folks will be way down there on, on top of these crates and barrels and who knows what else rocket pieces whatever and sniping people all the way across the map so it's just a lot different type of gameplay with the first light map and i think it'd be good to bring some some variety into destiny 2 
and especially right now with 6v6 coming back as part of that July update, the more maps you have that cater to larger team sizes, the better. So I'd be happy if they brought back First Light. Let me know if you would as well. If you're if you're an OG Destiny 1 player, I'm sure you'll be happy to see this map again. So this came in at number 4. Let's check and see what comes in at number 3. At number 2, we are staying at Earth, and that is for the Rusted Lands map. Now this map, just like First Light, was one of the original maps that you could play in both the Destiny Alpha as well as the Destiny Beta. So a lot of my motivation for wanting to bring this back into Destiny 2 is purely based on nostalgia. I spent many hours at this map leading up to Destiny 1 release as well as throughout my Destiny 1 Crucible career which was illustrious or insignificant depending on how you look at it. The interesting thing with this map is, while it's not an extremely large map, the overall layout and the proximity and just the, the different sight lines, I think it would make it somewhat challenging to have this be useful in 4 versus 4, but it would be really fun to have this in 6v6. The other thing too that is interesting with this map is because of the layout of it, I think more often than not you would have battles here that were strictly one versus one gun battles and in Destiny 2 right now it's it's a bit too much team shooting for my liking so if you could bring in a map that would encourage you know one versus one fights that would be something I'd be extremely happy about so I'd love to see this map come back spent a lot of time here so it'd be fun to just have this map come back and it would also help too I think with the overall team shooting there would be some dynamic changes to this map because part of the the reason why it was such a fun map to play is centered around the heavy ammo spawn point there was many many occasions here where yourself or your team would be waiting for the heavy ammo to come in only to have a striker titan run around the corner and smash everybody to pieces get a triple or quadruple kill but that was part of the fun with this map so Naturally, with the changes that Destiny 2 has made with the heavy ammo, you would take away some of those cool moments, but I think it still would be worthwhile to bring this map back. This was number two. Let's take a look at the number one map that I would like to see come back into Destiny 2. And the number one map from Destiny 1 that I'd love to see return for Destiny 2, it's also on Earth, and I'm talking about the Exodus Blue map. Now, if I recall correctly, this was a PlayStation exclusive, but it did open up to Xbox players right around the time that The Taken King came out. This map is memorable to me for a number of reasons, but first and foremost, it was a fast-paced, frantic game, no matter which game mode you played here. It's a smaller map, certainly a small map by Destiny 1 standards. We'll head over to Point B here real quick just to take a look, but this is a map where there was always something going on. So I'm over here at point B right now. You can see point A is less than 40 meters away. Point C is a little bit further, right around 55 meters, but not very far at all. You did have a brief reprieve if you ran over to point C, but that was oftentimes very short-lived because all the other team had to do was come up that staircase and come down this hallway, and then this place got crazy. Even more so when the heavy ammo spawned in. This part of the map got hectic as well, just like everything else. This map, it was highlighted by the constant battles from start to finish, especially right around here in point B. Never a dull moment here near point B. But if anything, though, if you added 4 versus 4, it could make this more of a controlled chaos map as opposed to the insanity from the start to finish that it was in Destiny 1. But I'd love to see Exodus Blue come back. I think it would be awesome for both 4v4 and 6v6. This was my top five. Let me know which maps you'd love to see from Destiny 1 come forward into Destiny 2. I'm sure just like with Bannerfall, we will have some other maps that were part of Destiny 1 get pulled forward. Who knows, maybe even with the, the Forsaken DLC, we'll have some old maps come back and, and be able to be played again here in Destiny 2. But this was my top five. Let me know the other maps. There's a lot of other ones I left out here. A lot of honorable mentions, maps like Widow's Court or Asylum, Crossroads was fun. There was just a lot of maps for Destiny 1 that I think would be worthwhile to, to bring forward. So let me know yours in the comments. Most importantly though, thanks for watching and we will all catch up soon.